In this episode, what about peak season? Hi there, bridal couples to be. Welcome to How to Get Married in Holland. The ultimate wedding podcast of and about the Netherlands. We, wedding ceremony experts, aka celebrants Daphne and Jasperin, share all ins and outs of getting married in our flat and fabulous country. Enjoy listening. Big season, the busy season from, well, May including September and everything in between and yep. almost starting at April, like we said in the previous episode, if you're curious all about the low season in the previous episode. But how about that busy season, Jasperin? Mm. Well, busy season for me this year starts already end of April, so it's moving forward, uh, probably also because lots of couples that couldn't get married uh, over the pandemic are still planning to get married now and runs into the end of September, but also already October. Mm -hmm. um, my busiest month this year is July. Okay. Um, and yes, July and September. I don't know, everyone wants to get married in July and September, at least when they want me as a wedding officiant. Mm -hmm. So very busy season. Um, as I said in the previous episode, I try to be ready before... Um, it really starts to get very busy. Yeah. So I'm well prepared going into the wedding season. A week before a wedding, I always contact my couple again to make sure that everything is still the way we planned it. Uh, very important. I once had a couple who changed uh, without telling me the um, the starting moment of the, the ceremony. Oh, uh, yeah, they moved it quite backwards. <laughs> yeah, they moved it backwards, which was, you know, not a problem because then you're already there. But, you know, should they have moved it forward, let's say by an hour, uh, then it doesn't give me the time to arrive peacefully and relaxed yeah. and, you know, prepare for my, my ceremony. So that was, a you know, a learning, a learning moment. Um, Always stay in touch with the couple. I always do, but make sure that they don't change that start time. So that was a very important one. Um, apart from, yeah, peak season. Um, I don't know how you do it. I only take on one wedding a day. Yes, I do as well. Because I've done it once. Mm -hmm. I had a, a wedding in Diemen, mm -hmm. which is a city right next to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And the second one was in Amsterdam. Okay. And I carefully did my research mm -hmm. in the navigation system. It mm -hmm. was a nine-minute drive <clears throat> between each venue, which was completely doable in theory. Yes. And I had my husband being uh, my driver, you know, my getaway oh. driver almost. Oh, and we had uh, uh, two hours in between. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was supposed Fine. to go well. And it did go well, um, to reveal <laughs> the tale of this story. But, uh, you know, it it was so stressful. Yeah, because, you don't want that. No, because I was, uh, you know, congratulating the first couple. Yeah. And in my head, I was already, I need to go, I need to go, mm. I need to leave. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I was in time for the second wedding, yeah. but I have to pull myself together and give it my all yeah. for the second time. Yes. And that was the day I decided I'm never going to do this mm. again mm. Uh, because I mm. really want to guarantee my couples mm. top notch quality Yes. and, you know, give them all my energy, my focus, my enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I totally agree. One wedding a day. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, like you said, when the couple does decide to change anything, it's not a problem. Because, it's not a problem. Yeah. yeah. I'm there uh, for their day. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. It gives a lot of uh, equality in terms of the ceremony, peace of yeah. mind for everyone involved. Yes. So that's that's really... What, what about um, dates? Dates to get married in the peak season? Well, of course, there are some dates that are quite popular, mm -hmm. especially if it's a Friday or a Saturday. Yeah. And then extra popular if 
that Friday of Saturday is when the date is the same as the year. Yes. So the 23rd yes. of May, 2023. Yes. Uh, you know, 8-8-8 I had. Yeah. 12, 12, 12. Yeah. That's in December. Yeah. But yes, special, special dates go fast. So yeah. that's a lesson for our listeners, bridal couples. If you want to get married on a special day, um, book it at least one year beforehand, I would yeah. say. Do you yeah. agree? Yeah, I agree. And also, you know, when you have a, a date which is very, uh, which has a very personal meaning to you. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah. I've married a couple who wanted to get married on their 10 year anniversary date. Oh, yes. Yes. So, yes. yeah, if if there's a certain date which is quite special to you, mm -hmm. then make sure to inquire mm -hmm. way ahead in time if your favorite officiant is available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Especially and not only the the favorite efficient. I mean for for us that's our work. Yeah. But if it's a popular day, then um the chances are that um other preferred suppliers like like a, a wedding planner, a florist, a venue, venue, venue. Yeah. venues go so quickly on popular dates. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. It's Yeah, um, and, and 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 you know also uh, availability, availability on the that particular date, mm -hmm. but also the availability during the week, because I don't know about you, but I choose to only conduct two uh, ceremonies each week. Each week, yes. Yeah. Yes. Also, yeah. energy wise, mm -hmm. focus wise. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 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 We don't want, we, we, we're not into mass production. No, no. You want to keep it special, perfect, uh, attentive. A high quality bespoke yeah now it's certainly no cookie cutter business no exactly uh, so we really want to make it uh, a yeah. fully tailor-made yeah. and customized yeah so, yeah yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. so that means that in the peak season you would have maximum of two weddings a week yeah do, do you take a break at all do you go on holiday in the summer um well uh, no okay <laughs> We go in between. Right. So, uh, you know, this is my job mm. and I love my job. It mm. doesn't mm. feel like a job. So I love to be a winning efficient and make that a very special moment right. for couples. So, yeah, I, especially when bridal couples inquire like a year before their wedding date, mm -hmm. I know pretty much how my summer is going to be like. Yes. And then we try to, uh, well, get on little trips in between. Yes. So, so we're of the planning time, ahead as well. Yeah, we plan ahead as well. Yeah, yeah. Or we sure. take a longer vacation or holiday, you know, in in October mm -hmm. or or in May. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I I have to say because of my husband's work, I, we do take a break in summer, mm -hmm. in the middle of summer. So that means that in you know the week running up to the wedding to the wedding to to my holiday I I I, I will still have weddings so that's a oh, very yeah. always a very busy period uh, most of the time it's it's like you know August um, and then when I come back it's uh, straight back into uh, fifth or sixth gear yeah 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 and and, and do you know are there any differences for vendors for uh, peak season for example some uh, venues uh, charge a higher fee mm -hmm. for a Friday or a Saturday in a mm -hmm. big season. And if you get married on uh, a Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, mm -hmm. and especially if you do so in the low season, you yeah. get a discount, for example. Big difference, big difference. Uh, days during the week will be, you know, priced lower. Uh, uh, and, and especially off, you know, if it's off peak, um, that's the same. But w one thing that also talking about vendors, things that also change, uh, talking about peak season or low season, if you are a florist, mm. I, you know, not all flowers will be available in, in, in October, yes. um, which is off peak. Like, you know, tulips are in season uh, April, May. Yeah. Um, February, March, March, February, March. But, you know, that's more like a spring flower. So if you come from abroad i have a couple who wants to who want to get married at the end of april because of the tulip fields yeah 
You well, it makes for great pictures. Oh yeah, yeah. It, but it, you know they they wouldn't be able to do that in September or October because they're simply not there anymore. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that's you know things to take into account um, yeah. if you want to get married in in the peak season. What is the consequence of that? Yeah, and also you know the availability of your guests. Yeah. You know, are they able to be present at your wedding Mm -hmm. or are they going on a holiday, Mm -hmm. summer holiday themselves? Or if they have children, they would, they are bound uh, to the um, the summer holidays, the school holidays, which, you know, will be maybe a reason to say, okay, let's not get married in July or August because uh, lots of our friends are going to be on holiday then. Yeah. Yeah. Do early July or depending on on the the schedule of the uh, the Dutch um, school holidays. Yeah, or you can combine it, you know, with a, with a bank holiday or how do you yep. call it? A, you know, where there's a Thursday yeah, the and, a, yes. and a Saturday and the, yes. the date in between, the yes. bridge date, as we call yes. it. Yes, So um, those dates go quickly as well because people have a holiday then. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, to be honest, we call it peak season because mm. it's our profession. But yes. for the wedding couple, of course, there's only one day. That yes. is so very important, which is mm. their wedding day. Mm. But it is important to take into consideration uh, yeah, that you have a wedding team of several vendors who have peak season. Yes. And yeah, so better prepare in time. Better prepare in time. Yeah. I think that's a good one to finish okay. it off with. Take care. See you Speak next time. Speak to you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to How to Get Married in Holland. We look forward to share more about organizing your wedding day in the Netherlands in the next episode. Hit the subscribe button so you won't miss anything. Any questions in the meantime? Please ask wedding celebrants Daphne or Jasperin. You can find us, plus the show notes, on Instagram. And if you love this podcast, please leave a review. It gives us a higher ranking, so more fun international couples with Dutch wedding plans will be able to find us. Until Until next time. time!